hey guys welcome back to my channel today you can see that I'm outside again because I'm gonna be filming something different for you guys I've been getting some requests to show more hair related videos so I'm gonna show you my wash day routine and right now I'm wearing this wig that I've been wearing for about the last two weeks and I'm actually doing my pre poo hot oil treatment underneath so I'm just gonna take it off and show you guys how I wash my hair had my hair in these sections for the last two weeks underneath my wig and I literally just took the braids down and um, did my hot oil treatment on each braid individually and so from here I'm gonna use my DIY shampoo and if you guys want to see a another video on how I make this shampoo then comment below and I will get that up for you guys supply it with this applicator bottle section by section starting with my roots and then I'll work it in to my roots and let it come down the shaft of my hair and I want my hair to be totally saturated this stuff is not gonna lather up and it gets really 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 messy I found that this is the only shampoo that my hair likes So I'm gonna leave this in my hair to sit for about 20 minutes. You can leave it in longer, but I don't have time for that. So now that this stuff is all out of my hair, I'm going to go in with my Aussie Moist Conditioner and um, do my conditioner. And I use a lot of conditioner, a lot. Cause I want it to clump my coils. I'm just smoothing it through my hair until I can start to detangle with it. And I might need some more because it's just not enough. I use a lot of this conditioner. I want my hair to be completely saturated with this conditioner. It makes it very easy to detangle. And I just go through and finger comb it. So now that the product is evenly distributed throughout my hair, I'm going to wash up and then I'll come back and show you what I do to rinse it out. Okay, so now that I'm done washing up, I'm going to rinse the conditioner out with cool water, like as cool as I can take it. I'm going to rinse it out with that so that I can seal my cuticles and all that moisture from the conditioner is locked in. Okay, so I rinsed this all out and now I'm just going to let it air dry for about 15 or 20 minutes and 
I'll show you how it seal in all this moisture. But look at my definition. There is about, I would say it's about 40% dry. I've been walking around outside letting it air dry and now I'm about to just seal. And so what I use to seal is my Cream of Nature with Argan Oil from Morocco Perfect 7, 7 in 1 leave-in treatment. And this is also what I use if I blow dry my hair. Um, so I'll put this in first and then I have this mixture of oils. So I have coconut oil in here, olive oil, rosehip seed oil, um, castor oil, glycerin, um, argon oil, Moroccan oil treatment, uh, basically all the oils that I have around my house. I just mix them all up and use that in my LOC method to seal my hair. So I'm starting with this cream of nature then I'm gonna go on with the oil and then I have my shea butter mix which is not really whipped like I would like it to be it's still kind of hard but I use this to really seal my hair and then after that I just go on with styling so I'll split my hair into sections detangle it and apply all those products and that is how I seal my hair after my wash day and I usually seal the moisture in and it lasts for about three or four days and if you guys would like to see any additional tips on how I keep in the moisture or how I care for my hair under my wigs then give this video a thumbs up or comment below and let me know and I'm gonna get out of here finish this wig and I'll see you in my next video bye